What up guys, Supermetal983 here, here to bring you another CD review. Now, I'd just like to quickly apologise for the lack of videos that was last week, but I was ill as fuck, couldn't help it, and couldn't be asked to edit any videos and nothing like that, so let's get things back on track, shall we, with a CD review. Now, as you know, I've been trying to get back into the CD reviews again, because I'm also concentrating on a couple of album reviews that I've got coming up and stuff like that, but I want to keep the CD reviews Keep going, so let's get on with it. This is what I'm going to be reviewing for you today. Yeah, this is the debut album from the band Armatura, entitled Armatura. Obviously, self-titled. This is released under Mighty Music. Now, you won't be too familiar with this band, but if you are, then great. But Armatura, they are a, a five-piece uh, kind of thrash metal, uh, melodic thrash metal kind of band. Hailing from the northeast, uh, where I'm from, and the guys um, kindly sent me a copy of this album to review because I'd heard some really good things about them, and I thought, you know what, might as well give them a shot. So cheers to, I believe it's Paul, the guitarist of this band, um, who sent us a copy. So cheers, bud. I absolutely love this album. Spoiler alert. But anyway, let's get on with it. But yeah, um, this is the one of the first albums that I came across this year, um, and one of the ones that. I actually did want to review and talk about on this channel um, quite a while back, but different things got in the way, and I wanted to get some um, extra content out there, and this one kind of got pushed kind of to the side. Sorry. But um, I'm here now to do a review of this album, and this album definitely was a big surprise for me, and definitely something that I have really fucking enjoyed since I first um uh, laid my ears upon it you could say um released on january 19th through uh, mighty music um i'm sure i've heard their name going about the scene um quite a bit over the past oh let's say six months or so maybe nine months something like that i've heard the name pop up on various bills and never in all honestly knew who they were i just knew they were getting on quite a few bills and when i heard that they were releasing their debut album with them being a northeast band. I had to check them out, and now we arrive at the debut album, which is self-titled. It runs around fifty-four minutes in length, and what you can expect when listening to this album is a very fun, very enjoyable, and very riff-fest thrash metal album. And um, it's kind of got a bit of a modern kind of feel to it as well. It's like. It doesn't feel like too old school sounding. It's got a very ni nice, sweet, crisp production behind it that definitely echoes and makes the riff sound a little bit more intense, a little bit more harder, and a little bit more memorable. As I've said before, a good production on an album can definitely make all the difference, if you ask me. And especially being a local band, um, uh, I have to say, this album is absolutely fantastic. I love finding new local bands, especially um, in the North East and just North in general, that are making a name for themselves, and quite rightly so, especially with this album, because this is absolutely incredible stuff, if you ask me. This has definitely been one of the most repetitive kind of albums that I've listened to over the past, what month in March, so the past three months, it's been one of the most played albums that I've listened to, and it's got that kind of enjoyment, fun factor to it, it's definitely pulled straight out of the old school vibe and um, attitude, but it still feels modern and executes it in such a way that it's really um, uplifting to listen to and definitely gets a good vibe going and get set you up for the rest of the day. If you listen to this album from the start of your day, you know it's going to be a good day, but then if, if it doesn't go your way at the end of the day, you stick it on, it's going to lighten up your day. That's the kind of vibes that I get from this album because I can have a shitty day at work and come home and listen to this album and it's, it's, it just hits that sweet spot. Um, so yeah, with it being quite a long album, I'd say 54 minutes, it doesn't um, oversee its welcome in any way. This keeps your attention from start to finish. From the first song, Zodiac, all the way to the last song, which I'm going to take the cl class as the bonus track, which is 11th Hour, uh, which it says on Metal Encyclopedia uh, Remix, but it's like an alternate version, but we'll get to that in a little bit. From from yeah, from yeah, Zodiac to 11th Hour, it, get, it doesn't let go of you in any way. It keeps your attention with some really soaring melodies in there that definitely keep keep a very well balanced between an intense riff but still keeping that beautiful soaring melodies in there that 
in my opinion, the, the thrash metal, what I like, is it has to have... It has to have a bit of aggression behind the riff, so you can feel a lot of attack going for it. But I like to have some sore melodies in there, some as if serenading in, in a sense, but still riffing and very um, beautifully executed on this album. Great guitar work, I have to say. Um, some great exceptional lead work on this album as well. And that's what I love about... Um, uh, what I've come to love about Thrash Metal is the soaring guitar solos, and this one definitely has a lot of those, to, so you're not going to be missing out on any of that, because this is definitely an album that you need to listen to if you love your melodic sort of passages. It definitely also takes in mind a bit of a, a progressive kind of feel to it, and I know my camera's going absolutely shit with the blurriness, so apologies about that. But the, um, the guitar work is absolutely exceptional. I really absolutely love the progression, progressiveness, the me melodies that are thrown in there. But I just love the attack going for it in the um, in the like riffs department. And I do mean riffs when you listen to this album. This definitely has a, a lot of riff feels in there. It definitely makes you want to head back and listen to the album over and over again. Uh, drum work as well, very tight and um, very... Um, punchy, powerful production behind the drums. Everything pops. Everything sounds huge and massive sounding and echoes the guitars very well. Makes it sing loud and proud. That's the only way you can describe uh, the production sound of the drums and the guitars. The bass echoing that very well. There's some really nice soothing uh, melodies, especially on the song that I mentioned before, The Eleventh Hour. There's some... Um, and that intro, that bass intro, uh, soothing behind, just, just it, it's it's like like stroking on your arms and your ears and just just like round there, like just oh it just teases you so much. I absolutely love that. I love um, walking bass lines like that. Oh, it just sounds exquisite if you ask me. Um, and then the vocals is one thing that I do uh, really like about this album as well. I think it kind. Of, uh, I don't know if it's it actually sounds like because it, it's been a while since I listened to this band, but I get a bit of a kind of Exodus kind of vibe going for it, and a bit of a um, uh, Anthrax influence in the vocals. Definitely, I definitely see it. Um, anthrax is definitely an influence in there. So if you're a fan of Anthrax or Exodus, you'll find something to like about Armatura. Um, but yeah. I absolutely love the vocal performance. It's powerful. It's filled with a lot of emotion and grit. It actually is really gritty. Um, it's not like um, super gritty that it turns into like, say for example, a Chuck Schuldiner kind of vocal. No, it, it's it's all clean and very well expressed, but it has a bit of an edge and a bit of an aggression behind it where it feel filled with a lot of emotional and attack going for it. I know I've said that word before, but I definitely detect a bit of that. But my favourite element, as I keep on saying, is the soaring melodies on this album. It it just soothes you and makes you makes you happy, makes you dear. And this is definitely one of those type of albums for me. Um, so yeah, um, definitely I'd say uh, tracks for me that that you just need to check out is Zodiac, Insidious, um, uh, Eleventh Hour, and I might as well add the when I said Eleventh Hour, it's the seventh track on the album. But there's an alternate version on track, which is track number 11, which features Jeff Waters, I believe it is, from um, the legendary iconic band Annihilator. It does a little, uh, you know, guitar wankery on there, and just, you know, doing all that stuff, and that sounds really good. I can't choose between the two, because I think they're both excellent, excellent versions of the song. But yeah, 11th Hour, Zodiac, Insidious, and uh, I'd have to say... Let's say Requiem for the Dam. That is an excellent, excellent song. Any links to any songs on YouTube or anything, I will link down below as well as any Bandcamp links or Facebook links. All of it down there. And make sure you check out Mighty Music as well. Excellent, excellent. We've got some great bands on there and a band I've reviewed on this channel before, Repulsive Vision. So awesome, awesome stuff. But yeah, make sure you check out Armature's debut album released under Mighty Music, which is this one. I haven't held this CD a lot in this review, but oh well. But yeah, this is a great, great album to listen to. Make sure you check it out uh, if you're into kind of like melodic thrash metal kind of like. Um, I'd say if you're a fan of um, Exodus or Anthrax or... I don't know, um, Havoc. Um, if you're a fan of those three bands, definitely check out uh, Armature. This is an excellent, excellent record to listen to and definitely one of the staples of 2018 so far, I have to say. It's... 
it's up there in my top albums, definitely, and you just need to check it out. For an overall score, though, I'm going to give this a solid 8.5 out of 10. Definitely check out Armature if you haven't already. And so I'll see you... Ah, fucked up. Anyway, I'll see you until the next video, and remember, stay metal, and I'll see you later.